this video we're going to be talking about prime and composite numbers. We're going to circle the prime numbers with a red marker and we're going to X out the numbers that are composite with a purple marker. Okay? On the right hand side you see the definition for a prime number and whole number with exactly two distinct factors, one in itself. Composite number is a whole number with more than two factors. So I'm going to give you uh, two examples, one of a uh, prime numbers and one that is a composite number so you can have an idea of how to do it. We're going to be talking about what numbers can be multiplied together to give me two. Okay, So the two numbers uh, to multiply two, so you can do one times two, that's going to be two. Or you can go ahead and do two times one, which is going to give me two. There's no other way to multiply up to two. That's the only two ways that you can go ahead and do it. So because of that reason, that two is going to be a prime number. Okay. Now, what numbers can we multiply to give me nine? Okay. So we're going to try to go ahead and look for nine. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do it and we can do 1 times 9. We can go ahead and do 9 times 1 which is 9. And we can also do 3 times 3 which is going to give us 9. Okay. So if you see there's different ways. So in the composite number a whole number with more than two factors. So the factors of 9 could be 1, 9, and 3. So for that rule, 9 is going to be a composite number. Okay. So we're going to start with the chart here. And we're going to go ahead and circle first all the prime numbers. And then we're going to come back and X out the composite numbers. Okay. So we're going to start with 1. 1 I circle blue for 1 because 1 has only one distinct factor which is just 1. If you see a prime it says a whole number with exactly two distinct factors, 1 in itself. But in 1, you have 1 in itself, it's 1. So it can't be prime. Composite number, a whole number with more than two factors. It's going to be only one. So that's the only only number that's not going to be neither. It's going to be no prime number or no composite number. Okay. So we're going to start with number two. Okay. Two is that a prime or composite number is going to be a prime number. Okay. Two is the only even number that it is going to be a prime. Okay, then we're going to go and see 3. Okay, is 3 prime composite? It's going to be prime. The reason it's going to be prime is because you can only do 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. There's no, any other number you can multiply to do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go next. What? 4? Is that going to be prime or composite? It is going to be composite. So we're going to X it out. Remember, X out your composite. So 4 is going to be composite but you can, because you can do 1 times 4 and 4 times 1 and 2 times 2 is 4. So that's why it's a composite. So 5 is going to be prime. 6 is going to be composite. So if I already know that every even number, you're able to go ahead and know that it's com composite because it's going to be an even number. So you can multiply one, one times itself and you can do it by multiplying two times another number because it's an even number. So you're going to go ahead and I will X out all the even numbers because I know they're going to be composite numbers. So we got 14, 
Count it by two, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, and 50. So all those numbers I know right away they're composite because they're even numbers. Okay. Other ones that can go ahead and next out are going to be our fives. Because I know that other than five, you're 10, you can multiply by twos because it's even, or you can do five times two. Or your fives because you know five times three, five times four, five times five, five times seven, and five times nine. It's going to go with more than two factors. So I'm going to go x out now 15, 25, 35, and 45. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the next number. And 7. 7 is going to be a prime number. Because that's the only number you can multiply. 1 times 7. 7 times 1. And no, no more numbers. Only multiply 1 in itself. So that's why it's going to be a prime number. Okay. 9 is going to be a composite number. Because you can multiply 3 times 3. And I gave you guys an example of that in, in the beginning. Of why 9 is a composite number. Okay. 11 is going to be a prime number because you can only multiply 1 and itself. 13 is a prime number because it's going to be 1 and itself when you multiply. Okay. Then we're going to go to any other numbers. We know that 14, 15, and 16 are composite. 17 is going to be a prime number because you can only multiply 17 is 1 and itself. 19 as well, your next number, 19, 19 is going to also be prime because you're going to multiply 1 and it's self, okay, 21, x out 21 because it's going to be a composite number because you can multiply 3 times 7, it's going to give you 21, okay, right now if you want to go ahead, you can go ahead and pause the video and try to finish the other half of the chart that goes all the way up to 50 to see if you're able to finish it on your own. If after you're done finishing it, you can go ahead and resume and put play and see if you got circle the prime numbers and if you X out the, uh, if there's any other composite numbers on it. And don't forget also to like and subscribe. Okay, so we continue with number 23. Okay. 23 is going to be a prime number because it's going to be 1 and it's self. Then we're going to go ahead and look at 27. And 27 is going to be a composite number, so we're going to X it out. It's going to be composite because it's more than two factors because you have 1 times 27 and then you can have 9 times 3 which is going to be 27 okay then we're going to go with 29 29 is going to be a prime number we go to the next one 31 31 is also going to be a prime number and 33 is going to be a composite number so we're going to x out 33 and then we, our next number that we haven't done is 37. And 37 is going to be a prime number. We go to the next number, 39. And 39 is going to be a composite number. So we're going to X out 39. And we go to 41. 41 is going to be a prime number. Then we go to the next number. Then we have an X out and it's 43. And 43 is also going to be a prime number. Okay, we did 44, 45, 46, so the next one is going to be 47. And 47 is going to be a, a prime number. And our last number that we have is 49. 
And 49 is going to be a composite number.